Many teachers love the ease of using Google Forms for assessments, but on occasion teachers complain that, like let's say a student lost their answers or um, they didn't, weren't able to finish on time. So what do you do? Um, let me just show you in my settings in the upper right of the gear wheel. You do want to make sure you collect email addresses uh, because that's the key to this. And then you want to have edit after submit selected both under the general setting and make sure you save that. So let's say I'm a student and I'm taking my quiz, fourth hour. Oh, I know this, I know this, this. And then I am um, gonna start writing my essay. First, you need to, oh no, eat the bell ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit it. Notice it says right here, I can edit my response. Now, if I'm a student, obviously I'm gonna click off of it. Uh, the next time, if it's in, like in Google Classroom and I go to take it, it's going to recognize me as the person logged in and since you can only fill it out once I can go ahead and edit my response notice it kept what I previously had saved in there and then I could finish and add to it and finish my quiz now what if you do not want to have students have free reign of when to finish the quiz what you're going to need to do is go in your settings to the responses. So switch from questions to responses. Turn off the accepting responses. So if I'm a student right now and I'm going to get on and edit, notice it's not letting me do this. Oh, whoops, said it's not accepting responses. Um, all right, so tomorrow when the students come back to class, I can turn this back on. And now when a student, when I am accepting it, they can go back in and they can go ahead and edit their answers when they are logged on. Sorry, there you go. So that did save the responses and now I could finish it. So hopefully this allows you and your students to be able to take the Google assessments and not worry about losing answers or that they can do this outside of class if you do not want that.